Welcome to Channel A Mac, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested in migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell on the side so once you have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one getting all the insight. Alright, uh, numbers of stuff that I need to cover in this video on Monday the 9th of September 2024. First of all, is we will take a look at the uh, the, the newest, the most recent uh, invitation round from the uh, Independent Skill Subclass 1A9 visa. Uh, I don't know how many of you has actually got invited, but it's quite limited. And also we'll take a look at the um, some updates on the international education sector. Seems to be there's uh, already a lot of uh, shakeups and complaints and a lot of uh, uh, disadvantages towards a lot of colleges. But we'll have a look and see how this will shake up for the upcoming future of Australia. All right, first of all, let's uh, jump in there and take a look at the skill select invitation round now. Now, there has been around in June the 13th uh, and there was there was about 5,292 1A9 visa um, invitations. Now, numbers of these uh, that require EOI is extremely high. Look at this accountant, 100 points required i believe i've done a specific video previously and uh, talking about how you can actually get 100 points very very high i suspect that these accountants will have their uh, english proficiency at superior level and looking into all other of uh, the occupations despite uh, only the trades you will see 65 points all the others are aiming at about 85 95 or 100 you know and, and all these look at this computer network system engineer 100 points how do you get there well the only way will be superior english anything that you see uh, above 90 points uh, all, all suspecting uh, 85 points will have at least superior english if not having such uh you know uh the, the the english proficiency i don't think you actually get to that point uh because the ultimate uh, work experiences will only provide you 15 points but 15 points that means you have more works made yes but you're older as well so you get less points from your age so the only way that you can actually get to 100 points look at this ict business analysis or security specialist 100 points is that you ha must have a, a superior english so uh but would this continue to be like this this 105 what is this shipwright gosh how do you get 105 points here i don't know who who is that person got shipwright occupation and got 105 points uh please leave a comment right down below if you watch my video here uh that would be awesome i'd like to interview you how do you actually get that point there now um as far as we're concerned, it's very limited. And if we're looking into the actual total number of 5,292 uh, quarter being used, and plus the previous round, uh, if we can check out the December one, it was about 8,000 of them. So that almost deplete all the 189 quarter because the 189 quarter for this year is only one uh, 16,900. So we already seen there's a bit uh, about uh, uh, 13 plus thousand being used for these two rounds so that means there will be very very limited uh, one a nine invitation towards uh you know 30th of june 2025 and i suspect that's that is where the new uh the point test system will actually be introduced and will be out very very soon so uh, unfortunately i uh, don't think anyone well i, ha I f for sure i don't know anyone with uh, the occupation ship ride with 105 points personally and i don't I haven't seen many uh the ict people with 100 points that means they have they must have a superior English I suspect where these people are actually coming from uh, anyway let's uh, get some updates on the other things now obviously there has been a big talks about the uh, uh, the in international education sector now we have learned that over last week there obviously has been another uh, round of the um, let me magnify that a bit uh, there 
there has been another round of the uh, talk with the Senate. Uh, an issue has been raised in regards to uh, numbers of colleges. Now, now they are not ghost colleges. They did not receive any suspension and things like that. But instead of that, they receive zero quota for the students. I mean, that's. I think that's uh, that's penalizing the actual uh, the actual in institution provider as well because if they receive zero quota that that might as well just being declared as a ghost college why because you have zero international student now you may argue that they could uh, they could have um, uh, uh, you know domestic students yes they can but uh, as if they are only targeting undomestic students why on earth they, they should apply for cry course to become a provider that could provide uh, courses to international students while they uh, receive a zero quarter uh, and this uh, I don't know how to say to this uh, um, the owner uh, for the founder of the uh, Nova Anglia College that's uh, this college here um, don't know I don't know I lost I lost words for the, for her I'm not too sure what you can do there so um, well uh, <laughs> that's the fact I think I think there, there's a com continual debates uh, from the sector uh, towards what the government's decision had made uh, which is uh, destructive it's disastrous in the international education sector uh, and now the um, the government of, of Australia came back and say this now look uh, you know we know that there's uh there, there's a the thing going on with the with a with a cap uh, but we decided to give all the university extra funding to help them uh, to get more australians to get degrees now <laughs> i'm not, i don't know what to say about this uh but um why, why if you could do that why why would you why wouldn't you uh, just allow them to actually take uh, more international student i mean because uh, the issue here was there's too too many migrants right too many migrants and most of all the university uh, or uh, in the uh, cbd regions uh, to be honest uh, now if you if you want uh, if you don't want so many uh, uh, people to be populated in the CBD area uh, and causing the so-called housing crisis uh, then you should just you know reduce who, who cares you had less student less student there because they then you solve you you resolve the issue of a housing crisis now you're getting extra fundings to allow uh, university to get more domestic student that will mean there's still more student going to CBD as well wouldn't it <laughs> does it really solve the problem uh, for housing crisis or just solve the problem for the university and make, making more monies i don't know i mean <laughs> i don't know i think this is for all of you to actually make a judgment there uh i think this this uh, government is actually losing track and lo also losing uh, you know they don't know what they're doing uh, to to be honest uh, I, I don't know how this will end uh, but certainly it, it seems to be it's heading into a very distrustful um trajectories uh so and we also seeing what's happening with the uh uh with the inflation and the gt uh, g uh, the, the gdp uh the domestic growth production growth uh was only 0.2 percent uh from the last report and that's that's just <laughs> extremely bad that means that the, the whole nation is not growing at all uh so uh, I think there will still be a lot of other information to come and there's another six or well, three months to go uh, uh, next uh, next May will be a general election I don't know how this uh, this government the Labour government actually respond to uh, the all this disastrous uh, reports uh, and perhaps there will be a change of government again anyway should you have more question, query more than welcome to leave comment right down below and I see you next video goodbye